everybody, Total Protocol Saints here, I'm Matt. And I'm Jonah. And today we have the ultimate deck. Oh, Yay! Finally! So, uh, um, right, so as you can see on screen, it all the cards are there. It shows the reprinted cards. You get a pack of the correspondence set, the Vicious Rejuvenation. Um, so the reprints, we got Topo, we've got the Freezers. The Xeno Freezers are all reprints. Mm -hmm. The Goku Super Combo is a reprint. The Broly, um, the dark Broly ones, the six cars, both the six cars, sorry, um, are reprinted ones. Yes, there's two dark Broly's at the top there as well. They're red though, they're not black. Um, mm. Then we've got uh, Power Burst as a reprint. Um, mm -hmm. The card next to it, which I can't remember what it's called, is a reprint. The Dragon Ball's a reprint. And the reprint that everybody's probably buying is for is the protector of the people. Yep. <laughs> um, so the deck list is here. It shows you how many copies of each card you get. Um, so uh, if you want to obviously double up on a lot of these that you feel like you might need them, then clearly you have to buy two, which I suppose isn't too bad because the, the amount of protectors, protector of the people you'll get. <laughs> Yeah, that's how they always do it. Yeah. So, that's that. And then on to the actual list, if I go on to it. Um, so, basically, this list is just going to be all of the new cards. Um, the exclusives for the deck. Yeah. Yeah. So, the new cards, because <laughs> the rest of it is reprints. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, start off with we have Toa. So, Toa is permanent. Treat Dark Broly cards of original energy cost 9 or less in your hand and non black battle cards with Xeno in their character names and original energy cost 9 or less in your hand as if they have no specified cost and reduce their energy costs by 1. Ew. <laughs> uh, auto when this card attacks, add up to 1 card from your life to your hand and then draw a card. Seems to be trying to become the most common way of an auto now, isn't it? Depends I mean, it's on a what, good thing. Yeah, depends on what the deck, well, what the leader does as an overall. If if the leader's quite basic, I'd say this is mm. on its unawakened side. That seems to be the, the normal auto. Yeah. Which is Just gets the game flowing, doesn't it? Yeah. And then it's Awakens, you cure 4 or less life, it's a 1-1 one, one leader. Um, so then we flip you over to Toa and Mechibora Dark Conjurers. Um, so it's got the same permanent on the Awakened side. It has an auto of, when it's card attacks, you draw a card and it gains 5k. That is really good. Um, swinging yeah. to 20k is just, having that extra 5k power always makes a difference. Um, and then auto once per turn. When one of your Dark Brody cards, or non-black battle cards with Xeno in its character name, is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, draw a card. Um, that would probably be too overpowered if it was battle or skill. Um, having it just by skill is is much more fair. Yeah, um, because it has to be an opponent's skill as well. If it just said removed by a skill, then... Like a lot of them would just be like, oh look, I bounce it, draw a card. Yeah, but no, it's more like um, if your opponent killed it by battle or by card effect, you get to draw a card. It just being by mm. a skill for your opponent just makes it more balanced. Um, this forces your opponent to attack them as opposed to using skills on them, which then of course takes yeah. attacks away from other things. Um, so on to our next card, which is quite wordy. Have fun. Yeah. Um, so we've got the using card for the deck, which is Dark Shenron Tyrannical Savior. Um, so no specified cost, 16k power. Much like Shenron's, it can't attack. Uh, it's plus one is active main. You may choose one Dark Brody card with an original energy cost of nine or less. Or one non black bout card with Xeno in its character name and original energy cost of nine or less in your hand, or drop area, place them at the bottom of your deck. 
If you place a card at, from your hand at the bottom of your deck, you draw a card. So it's putting cards back in your deck, which is really useful. Uh -huh. And then auto minus three, if your opponent is a, well, if your leader, sorry, not your opponent, um, if your leader is a tower card and you have four or more energy, at the start of your main phase, choose up to three non-black battle cards, range cost fearless, and Xeno in their character names and or Dark Brody cards from your deck or hand, play them, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does say energy cost three or less, which is fine. That's like... Yeah. That is good. And you have to do it. And yeah. you have to minus three. Yes. So you need to make sure it's got enough markers to survive it. Yes. Um, unless you don't mind it dying. Um, yeah. So, we've got Dark Broly, um... What? Unbridled. Oh, right, okay. Unbridled is right. Okay, that's just weird. Uh, so this is <laughs> red. Um, mm -hmm. and it's 7 cost with 30k power. <clears throat> it has Deflect, Unique, EX Evolve for 2 onto a Dark Broly with energy cost of 2 or 6. Permanent. This card is also treated as black in all areas. So, oh, thank God. <laughs> it just means that you can put this in the normal Dark Broly deck, basically. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> also, if your opponent's life is at 3 or more, um, and there is a card under this card, when this card is played, switch it to active mode, then your opponent may choose up to one battle card each from their hand, battle area, and or drop area, send them to the warp, if they sent two or fewer cards to their warp, choose up to one card in your opponent's life and place it in the drop area. You can't play copies of this card for the turn. That's still pretty good. Yeah, it's permanent is what gives it its really good edge though, because it does mean it can just go into the normal Dark Broly deck. Yeah, and the fact that you can evolve it on top of a Dark, like one to six cost as well, makes it so useful. Yeah. It does. And you don't have to pay red. Oh, well, no, I cause, like it. Because it's just pay two, isn't it? So, yeah. If it had to pay yeah. red, then it would make its permanent pointless. Mm. Because you can't really put red into the Dark Broly deck because it is a mono black deck, isn't it? To do pretty much anything. It pretty much, do. yeah. So you only have to get rid of six. Like, well, no, it's six hundred thirty k power. But, yeah. Um, anyway, so we have... Dark Brody, the Shadow Warrior. It's a 2-drop. Requires 2 red. It's got 15k power. Um, it's got Unique. And Active Main. You pay 1. If your leader is black and your opponent has 3 or more energy, add up to 1 card from your life to your hand. Play up to 1 Dark Brody card with an energy cost of 6 or 7 from your deck on top of this card in Active Mode. Then shuffle your deck. You can't play Dark Brody cards for the turn. So, so you can use that to evolve into the one from the, from this deck, or you can evolve it to one of the other ones. Although, as you yeah. know, this one doesn't have the same permanent, so you couldn't use this in normal Dark Broly. No. So but... it, it's it can go into the other Dark Broly cards that are in the structure deck, well, Star Deck or Ultimate Deck, whatever you want to call this thing. I know it's called Ultimate, ultimate Deck, deck. But, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> It's all the same kind of thing, isn't it, really, these days? Yeah. Uh, the, the main support for it, like, the main thing there is that you can get any of your other Dark Brodies out, and that one comes off the Shenron's effect. So. Yeah. That's, uh, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got Janemba the Shadow Warrior. So, two cost, it is a two hard blue. Ooh. Uh, 15 counter attack, negate the attack, then play this card. If you negate, negate the leader card's attack with this skill, your opponent cannot attack with uh, leader cards for a turn. Um. Okay. Uh, it's very situational because it's dependent on the leader multi attacking. Well, I mean, you can just use this as a two-cost negate if you really wanted to, but... Yeah, it gets you a Janemba on the board if you need one. Yeah, and of course, remember, it has no specified cost because of the uh, 
tower. Yeah, and it's reduced by one as well. So, yes. So it's a one cost negate. Yeah. Right. Um, so next we got Freezer the Shadow Warrior. Say two drop with 15k. Again, you have to pay two green, but the Terror's Effect makes it one. Um, it has Unique. Uh, permanent. When your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, this card can't attack you. No, this card can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode. Okay. And then auto once per turn. If you lead it as a black demon realm race card, if this card's attack carries an opponent's battle card or removes a marker from an opponent's using card, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. What? What? <coughs> you you can so if you care a battle card or remove off a mark from their unison you add a card and they discard a card yeah what even <laughs> <laughs> alright so we've got margin boot the shadow warrior uh, so it's four cost three of it being green uh, 20k power but again no specified cost um, mm -hmm. Unique barrier. It's got two autos. The first one, well, they're both once per turn as well. Auto once per turn. When this card is played, you look up seven cards on top of your deck. You can play up to one dark Brody card if your energy costs are nine or less, or up to one non black battle card with Zeno in his character name, a nine, or ca nine cost or less, and shuffle your deck. Alright, that's really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Two, two battle cards at the price of one. Mm. Uh, auto once per turn. If this card is in rest mode, when your opponent attacks a leader card, they choose two cards in their hand and discards them. Ooh. Ouch. That is... This That's ultimate, pretty good. This ultimate deck is insane. <laughs> You're really good. Um, so we've got Lord Slug, the Shadow Warrior. Um, so, two costs, both being yellow, 10k power, it's a unique blocker, and then auto, you pay one, if the leader is a black demon realm race card, when it's card is removed from your battle area by an opponent skill or KO'd, play up to one Lord Slug Xeno card, with an cost of nine from your deck, then shuffle your deck. D -d 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 Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dark Dragon Balls. Uh, permanent, this card gains Dark Dragon Ball in all areas. Activate main. If your leader card is Black Demon Race, look at seven cards on top of your deck. It costs nothing as well, by the way, because, you know, Dragon Ball cards usually don't. Um, oh wait, no, not true. There are some that do cost. Yeah, the Super Dragon Balls have a cost. No, 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 the other ones as well, like the, the four, no, not the four star, they're like the one star was pay one to discard card and whatever. Oh, yeah, the promo ones. Yeah, the promo ones ended up having costs. But mm. ge gem, well, I say generally. Okay, so some do, some don't. Um, so, yeah, activate main. If you leave a card as Black Demon, run race, look at certain cards on top of your deck, add up to one dot Brody card or non black card with Xeno in the character name. Or a black unison card with 16k power among them, put it to your hand and shuffle your deck, and then it's at it, the rest of the skill just means you can't do it twice in one turn. Yeah, considering how much you can search from it, makes it fair. Uh, it's practically every card in your deck. Yeah, because the Shenron unison has 16k, so you could end up getting two of them. Yeah, that's the point, one. isn't it? That's why this says 16k, because otherwise it'd be pointless. Yeah, but that's also why it's like you can't activate another copy because you could just be like, oh look, I'll get two copies of the Shenron units and, and then play one and then put one underneath. Yeah. And there we go. And then it's got two markers straight away. Yeah. And there's our nine cost slug. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Lord Slug and Bridled Might. Say nine cost green yellow. Uh, you have to pay one green and one yellow. Uh, it's got 25k power. Well, you don't. It's got no specified cost in this deck. Yeah, and there's also a cheap way to get it out. But anyway... Um, yeah. <laughs> it's got 
EX evolved by paying two, you draw a card and you place it on the Xeno Slug at an cost of two. Uh, did you say unique blocker as well? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And of course, it's got the exhaust skill, but. Yeah. Um, auto once per turn. When this card carries an opponent's battle card or activates its blocker skill, switch it to active mode. Ew. Yeah. And then its secondary auto is when this card is removed from your battle by an opponent's skill, choose up to one card in your opponent's hand and up to one of their battle cards, place them in the owner's drop areas, then choose up to one of your opponent's unison cards and remove two markers from it. Ooh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I mean, it has to be removed by a skill for you to yeah. get the rest of that auto. Um, but still, ill. This very much feels like the Agents of Destruction. Yeah. Especially since the leader basically combines the Barber D blue card and the leader card with its permanent. Yes. So instead of having two cards to make everything cheaper, it's just put into the one card. See, I still... But, I don't know whether I want to get the ultimate deck or not. Hmm. It doesn't seem like my type of deck. <laughs> <It's>, weirdly. <laughs> I don't know. It does and it doesn't. It, it probably... It does seem interesting because it is very much like Agents of Destruction, which you enjoy, but... It plays I suppose qu quite differently. It, yeah, that like, you'd have to kind of focus this one a little more. Mm. Whereas, like, Agents of Destruction, you can just run a bunch of them. This one, you'd want to... Like, I could easily see in this deck, like, cutting things out like the Freezer to run maybe more Dark Brody support or more um, Gin Ember support maybe because there's going to be stuff in the set as well that works with this deck and previous sets because there's a lot of Xenos out there true alright guys uh, so very, thank you very much for watching leave any thoughts you have in the comments below um, like what would you do with the deck yeah, how much would you change it or all, all that mm. kind of stuff uh, yes. That like yeah, they that would be very interesting to hear. Like other people's takes on the deck. Yeah. So let us know. Cool. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.